In Lakota teachings, it tells us all that we all need to prepare for, train, mentor for, and plan for our next seven generations. Yeah, this is our future, you know, our kids. Yeah, they're our future leaders. Gonna get two large hot chocolates. Two large hot chocolates. As a staff, we had no clue what went on in a coffee shop. So I got on YouTube and we watched videos with, with our class and we learned what a barista does, how to make a latte, how, how to make an espresso. Once they were comfortable with that, then we opened our doors and been going ever since. So yeah. Whoa, the motor down. Whoa, yeah, these are a cherry filled. Enjoy it, man. Alan picked up on it real quick. He was the first person to make a latte for the coffee shop. So, so that was that was real cool. Her main salad over here is lattes and hot chocolate and coffee. My favorite part is working as manager, doing inventory and everything shows me how to be more responsible for everything. I say decorating. Decorating, yep. All right, why is decorating your favorite part? Because I could make up new designs. Yeah. So it feels like creative, kind of artistic? Yeah. Do you ever think that you might be able to do that as a job someday, like something creative? I hope. What we try to do here with our transition program is um, kind of expose our kids to what is out there after high school. Because here on the reservation, uh, we don't have the adult services that you would see maybe in Rap City or maybe in New York. By having a school-based program, that kind of exposes them to the nature of the job force. So. All right, perfect. Cool. Thank you. Thank you, guys. You can see students transform into these kids that were real shy to begin with, to the point where now they're greeting customers by name. The use. Alrighty. They they have a voice all of a sudden, whereas they didn't necessarily have that voice before. Starting right here, whose jurisdiction are we under? The tribe. Okay, the OST yeah. tribe. Who else though? The U.S. government being the federal, yeah. say we went up to the Black Hills uh, using our hunting rights and we uh, hunted an elk and then on federal land and we got arrested for um, uh, poaching. Poaching, right. Yeah, okay. And so we might, you know, be trying to use treaty rights that treaty gives us the right to hunt mm -hmm. because treaties are above federal law. Okay. There's my little house over there. Clutch went out on that Ford truck. The Ford? Yeah. Hauling five tons of gravel. Holy, that's a big trailer. You guys hauled gravel in that? Yeah. Dang. Oh, yeah, so you spread all this out. Yeah. That all looks good. good. That's some work. It is, man. Well, it's my puppy. Oh, Your puppy? <laughs> she is a sophomore. She's a, a freshman. Freshman. Mm. Pre K, right there. Okay. Made donuts today. And then we got career day tomorrow. It's gonna be pretty busy. First period, you're gonna you're gonna go to a classroom and get a career day T-shirt, and they're mm -hmm. gonna give you a ticket, a raffle ticket. Yeah. And if you hold on to it till the end of the day, we're gonna raffle off the big drones. Big drones. There's the six of them. Gift cards. So, but you gotta stay the whole day and be there. At the end of the day, the gym. You got to be there the whole day? The whole day. School's all right. And we just moved in this house. Usually, we didn't start out with stuff, so I'd be excited to go to school. 
to go play basketball and go visit my friends and everything. And yeah, that's the only reason I would go to school. What do you think about school? Good. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Not last year, but the year before, school wasn't working out for me. Not showing up to class and everything. It was pretty hard. Skipping every day. And when I got into the coffee shop, I had to bring up my grades just to be in there. That, that's what helped me motivate myself to keep going to class. And it felt, uh, felt good to be part of something. I wanted to go to college and hopefully get off the reservation, but I need him in my life because he's the only one that's there for me. And he's my mechanic in my house. He fixes my house up when I need it. So, so yes. He has the brains. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? Do you want to stay on the reservation or not? I want to get off the reservation to prove I could do something. But I want to go into the military too at the same time, but I want to get some degree in college. I can be a higher rank officer. Why do you feel like you need to get off the reservation in order to achieve those dreams? There's a lot of the stuff holding me down. You know, at one time, permission had to be sought to leave the reservation for whatever reason. And then I think historically it's just seen that Indian people have a hard time getting off the reservation or making it off the reservation. Nothing to keep everybody motivated around here. That's why everybody looks towards other stuff to do. And it's marijuana, meth, all that. <laughs> How far away do you live from the school? Do you just live downtown? In Eastridge, yeah. I don't live exactly downtown. I like live in like housing called Crazy Horse. Like there's a good side and a bad side. Like there's like a good side, like people like just be quiet and all that. Other side of housing, there's like probably someone like getting stabbed and this cars getting broken, new houses getting broken into, and all that. My name's Joe Thunderhawk. And how do you spell thunderhawk? Thunder and hawk. That's what I figured. That's what I figured. <laughs> <laughs> Describe what you were afraid of when you think of the next 10 years. Losing a loved one. Uh, not having a job. What do you want your life to look like in 10 years? I'd like to have a family, a house. Play sports, get a job. It takes a lot of hard work and dedication, but you know sometimes you need somebody there to to help you along that path. And I'll be there to help them. They just have to do the work. I said I was gonna get a scholarship. Scott said a family. To actually stand up and speak out loud and share, that's one of the things that I, that I strive for my students to do is, is dream out loud, you know, and, and not be, I'm sorry. The way I grew up is, you know, really similar. I didn't really have a support system. So me, Leaving for school was something that I had to do. I hate that moms and dads are struggling out there with not finding any good jobs around here. I just don't like, you know, seeing kids with nothing. They're all, they're you know, sad constantly. Is that a problem for a lot of kids that it's hard to get to school every day? Yeah, it is because their their moms, dads, or their uncles, or whoever they're staying with, they drink a lot and they don't wake up their kids in the morning.
knowledge, uh, wisdom is, is is a warrior's best weapon. You know, ever since time began, and a warrior is a provider and a protector, and uh, and that's still true today. The Ovalas have been here since time began, as far as, or creation, as far as uh, the Lakota teachings tells us. There's petroglyphs and pictographs up in the Black Hills that are uh, 10, 12,000 years old. Uh, there's a picture of a short-nosed bear there, and they went extinct about 10,000 years ago. And then there's the chip, that's the petroglyphs, and those might be 20, 25,000. That's 700 grandpas ago, you know. We smudge to you know, cleanse our mind, our spirit, our soul, our bodies, and, and uh, to get ready for the day. Here at Pine Ridge School, we're called the Thorpe family. So with that, it doesn't matter if somebody speaks slower or computates a math equation slower, we're all in this together. Perfect. Our spirituality, you know, that, that's one thing we'll never lose is our spirituality. There are some people that do need our help, but it's time to move forward as, as a people and as, as a sovereign nation. There's Misty. There's Misty. Uh, my mom always worked. She worked all her life when we were growing up. Uh, my mom, my dad was never in a picture, so I never really knew him. It's kind of like what I want for Mariah, you know, just to be more independent because I really didn't have, you know, somebody, somebody to uh, push me or um, maybe like a role model in the family, I guess. And then I had Mariah right as I graduated high school, so she was motivation for me to do better. Really my job is like to help you make the transition to college. So um, I want, want to help you out along the way, make that smooth transition. Yeah, I always wanted to come to this yeah. college. I loved it. I graduated from here actually. Really? I had a good time. I actually had a classroom set aside for most students that, that was student teach there, so yeah. I actually do. And you can actually like watch as like you see the class going on and stuff like that. And you ever thought about what you want to do in the military? Any job? Mechanic. Mechanics, nice. Yeah. I was mechanic last week. Uh, yeah. 91 Bravo. Mm. Um, have you taken the ASVAB test? Yes, I have. How well, what did you score on the ASVAB? They wouldn't tell me. Do you have any like serious medical history, anything mm. like that? Broken bones, hospitalized, ADHD, no. any medications, anything like that? Nothing. Too easy, man. Alrighty. Yeah. Class? yeah. I want to be in there. I can go over all the information with you. Right. What the guard's actually about, if you want to be a mechanic, if you qualify with that ASVAB score. Right. You know, if you need to retake it, I'll give you... I think it's time for us to continue to look at our uh, own economy and grow it in the sense that we can pull our hands back and uh, be self-sustaining. I think, I think that's important because it will empower our people, uh, instill the pride back that we once had. We can grow together and I think it would pull us out of poverty and I think it would change things a lot here.
Hey, I just want to say, first of all, you guys worked really hard today. You guys did an awesome job. All right, so I need you guys to sign. So just sign there. Big payday. I usually spend it on what I need, like new clothes or like if my mom and dad needs anything around the house, then I help them out too. There you go. Oh. Thank you for all your hard work, Mariah. Okay. Keep it up. See you. We'll see ya. So, Alan. Hey. Uh, my goal is to continue to, to make them think that there's other things you can do to make money that you could be successful at. But my, my advice to them is find something that you're passionate about. Ready? Oh,